Hi, today we are going to talk about three things that the greatest communicators have. Those are the three things that makes people want to listen to them, makes people believe what they're saying and makes people do what they are asking them to do. It's really important, isn't it? That if you are speaking to someone, they believe what you're saying, they understand what you're saying, they accept what you're saying and they do what you're asking them to do. So what are these three things? Ethos, Logos and Pathos. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's so nice to see you again. And I hope you're going to learn what these three things that the greatest communicators do in order for people to trust them, learn from them, listen to them and do what they're asking them to do. Ethos, Logos and Pathos. So this is something which Aristotle, great philosopher, Aristotle said many centuries ago. So he said the greatest communicators have these three things, ethos, logos, and pathos. By the way, we are learning three Greek words as well. So what, does, what do they mean? Ethos. Ethos is all about the credibility, the character and the credibility of the speaker. Do we trust the speaker? If we trust the speaker, we are more likely to trust what the speaker is telling us as well. So this is coming from the background the authority, the qualifications, the track record of the speaker. When I talk about this, one of the examples I give is politicians. How much of credibility do politicians have these days? In my view, not a lot. Therefore, if a politician comes on, on the television and says, you know, I'm going to do this, I for one do not trust that because that politician doesn't have credibility. Maybe the character of the politician is not quite right. It doesn't really resonate with me. I don't trust him or her. And therefore, I don't trust the message as well. So if the, if the speaker doesn't have ethos, which means doesn't have, the good, doesn't have a good character, is not trustworthy, uh, doesn't have credibility because of past actions, because of uh, qualifications of the person. For example, if you meet someone on the, on the road and that person says, you know, I think you're sick. You should go immediately to the, doc to the, to the hospital and admit yourself and get, get bypass surgery. You're going to say, who are you to tell me this? And if the guy says, you know, uh, I'm, my name is uh, Dr. So-and-so. I'm, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I'm a world famous bypass surgeon. And you look at the credentials and you see actually he, it is a world famous bypass surgeon. And he says, I just noticed this about you from the way you were walking, the way you were out of breath. Yeah. Are we going to listen to the message? Are we going to at least go and, you know, just get a, get a quick checkup done? Maybe because the guy has credibility. But if somebody stops you on the road and says, you know, I think you're sick, go and get a checkup done. And you ask him, who are you? What's your background here? And he says, you know, I'm, I'm an accountant. You're not going to really trust that because the accountant doesn't have credibility to talk to you about a medical problem. We need a doctor talking to us about a medical problem, isn't it? So we need to have the credibility. And that's going to come from the background of the person, the track record of the person, no matter the background is really good. This guy is a fantastic, uh, this guy is a doctor. This guy has passed all the medical exams, but the track record of this doctor is really bad. He gives his patients the wrong medicine. In that case, even if the qualifications are there, we are not going to trust what this person says because the credibility is not there. Maybe he has the knowledge. So ethos is all about character and credibility. And through that, we build trust of the person. So ultimately, ethos is all about, do I trust the speaker? If I don't trust the speaker, I do not trust the message as well. Number two is called Logos. Logos says this guy can be very trustworthy, might be a fantastic human being, very honest. Does he have the knowledge? So that earlier story I was telling you, the accountant to stop me on the road and said, Sanjeev, you need to go and have a checkup. Is this guy an honest guy? Yes. Is he a good human being? Yes. Is he genuinely thinking I have a problem? Yes. Is he genuinely trying to help me? Yes. Does he want the best for me? Yes. But does he have the knowledge? No. So Logos is not there. So can be a trustworthy person, but without Logos, without the knowledge, without the information, without the facts, without the data, well, I'm not going to really do what that person is saying. So ethos without logos means, yes, the good person. I can trust the person, but I can't trust the message. So therefore, I'm not going to uh, listen. I'm not going to do what this person is saying. Logos without ethos, I'm still not going to trust the message. Even if this guy is now telling me the right thing, because I don't trust the individual, I don't trust the message as well. 
because I'm wondering why is he telling me this? Or because I don't trust him, I'm not going to listen to the message anyway. So trust is important and having actually having the knowledge is important, isn't it? So we need to develop our knowledge. We need to be competent in what we are talking about. We need to build expertise in our areas and what we are talking about as well. So that's all about logic, logos. Because without logos, uh, it's useless. We are talking all sorts of rubbish. Sometimes there are people who the first impression is fantastic. Uh, they, they, they speak really well. They seem to have a lot of charisma. They dress smartly. Uh, you like them. But when they open their mouth and start speaking, you realize this guy doesn't have any substance. This guy doesn't have any knowledge, doesn't know what he's talking. So that's not really going to help, isn't it? And at that point, we stop listening. We might like the guy, but we think, okay, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So ethos and logos are both important. The last one is pathos. No matter how much of ethos we have, no matter how much of logos we have, if we don't have pathos, no one will listen to us because the message is really boring. Now, if I was talking to you like this, you know, today I'm going to talk to you about three really important things that Aristotle said every communicator should have ethos, logos and pathos. Now, if I spoke to you like that, you're going to like stop the video, switch off immediately, isn't it? Because there is no pathos. What does pathos mean? There is no passion. If I am talking to you and if I am not passionate about my message, if I am not passionate about what I am telling you, why on earth should you be passionate about listening to me? Why should you even listen? If I am bored by my own message, why should you listen? And you are definitely not going to. I know in my life, I have had some great teachers who had ethos, logos and pathos and therefore we listen to them, we learn a lot from them. Did you ever have a teacher, genuine person, really, really caring about you, has the knowledge also, but the way he speaks is so boring that the whole class is asleep. <laughs> so there is no pathos and we still didn't learn anything. So it's really important that the pathos is there. Storytelling ability. Do we tell stories? People always love to listen to stories. They can learn from stories. But important that we always lead them from a story to the point that we are trying to make. Don't just tell a story and don't just tell a story and leave the audience hanging. Because they sometimes can't figure out where you're going with this story. We need to connect the dots and say, this is the story, this is what's happening. Therefore, these are the three points that I hope you got from this story. One, two, three, A, B, C. Then it's going to be much uh, clearer. So we need to be able to tell stories because that really energizes, gets an audience interested. So story is very important, uh, but of course, pathos. Uh, emotion, having emotion, having passion, speaking with emotion, speaking with passion, speaking with energy. I'm sure you'll agree that most of the politicians actually have a lot of pathos. They speak with passion, they speak with emotion, they speak with energy. Problem is no logos in some of the cases and problem is in most of the cases there is no ethos, there is no credibility, there is no trust, there is no character. So to be a great communicator, as, as Aristotle told us many centuries ago and it still holds true today. So thank you Aristotle. To be a great communicator we need to have three things, ethos, logos and pathos. And even if we have two of them, we don't have the third our message is not going to get across. We can have the most uh, pathos uh, uh, available, so much of emotion, we speak with such a lot of energy uh, and the most trustworthy person as well. But if uh, we don't have the knowledge, people will listen for a short while and then figure out, okay, this guy is bluffing, doesn't have the substance, doesn't have the background, doesn't have the knowledge and stop listening. Uh, we have uh, pathos and, uh, and, and logic, we have the knowledge, but we don't have uh, ethos which means people don't trust us. Therefore, they won't trust what we are saying. And even though we speak with a lot of passion, they won't trust. And if I have tons of ethos, tons of logos, but no pathos, uh, <laughs> I'm a good guy, I'm a trustworthy guy. Uh, I'm telling you the truth. I have the background, I have the knowledge, but the way I'm saying is so boring that you already tuned off and you're not going to listen to me. So we need to have all three. Ethos, Logos and Pathos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about how to be a great communicator. Uh, please join me for the next video as well. There will be something new next week. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do click on the button and subscribe. And do leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Tell me how I can be of service, uh, how I can help you. Stay safe and blessed and I'll see you at the next video.